You know, from my perspective, the inspiration was actually because we've had a long-standing friendship and we've worked in this area for many years. We've done a lot of work, research and teaching together. And uh, we, I think we had an important message to try and get out there that uh, was that, you know, all psychiatrists should be using a wide range of health technologies. And, and I think uh, as we began talking about it, we wanted the book to be approachable uh, and uh, not the traditional uh, sort of academic facing textbook, but something that was uh, easy to read, access the content, and illustrated by uh, some examples. And I think uh, we were able to achieve that with the format. Yeah, I think, I think that's a really important point. The clinical examples in the book are, are absolutely key. I mean, we've got about 30 different case examples in this book in all sorts of situations, uh, both of individuals and groups of patients. And uh, we're fortunate in, in knowing a large number of people in this industry and in healthcare. So we were able to approach a lot of people to actually have them write really good case examples on topics that we thought were important. I think this is a book that uh, is all about changing practice. Wow. Uh, it's about getting people to practice using technology in a routine way um, and moving from the traditional approach of uh, purely in-person, in-office practice to essentially having the doctor-patient relationship become a, a 24 by 7 uh, online and in-person hybrid relationship. I think that's really well said about really um, uh, the, the key points of the book are really about managing change, which we need to do now. And I think in the world we now find ourselves with technology, it's in some ways, hopefully this book sets some nice principles and foundations. It's really a lifelong thing now with technology. We'll all be managing change both personally and professionally uh, really for the rest of our lives. And